This is the string I made for today. Because if you have a sick tank or a sick shirt, it's going to be an even better stringer. This camera is sick. Now I can see. Oh, and there it is. Look at that. that uh, that's what you can do when you set your mind to something instead of just ripping it apart in the gym. So now I'm going to pick up Zach and we're about to go get swole. I just got done working out of the Y. I did um I didn't record any of it, but in the, if you watched the last video, I squatted a little bit, like literally one I showed one rep in like that first workout edit. And um I'm getting back into that, just staying like really light. It's uh not hurting my lower back, so that's awesome. I'm I'm at this gym swagless right now. And uh like you just saw, this is more of a, like an uh, Olympic lifting gym. They do like um, some CrossFit kind of here, just more like strength stuff. So, uh, and this is a new building. It's way bigger than the last one. It's awesome. So I might start coming here a little more. Sean's here. He, he does a little Olympic lifting already. I'm gonna take some notes right now. And that's what we call overhead squats. Focus. That's focus. Pressure on. Definitely a chicken quesadilla. Can I have a chicken quesadilla? Definitely. Okay. Do I want <sighs> Easy. Can I your order? No. Can I have a cheesy gordita crunch with that too? And um, can I get some nachos with that? Some triple layer nachos? The triple layer? I think is that, are they triple that's just layer like nacho. the, the um, nacho cheese, right? Why are you eating fast food anyway? The triple layer has red sauce, nacho cheese, and beans. Red sauce. So oh no! Can I just have uh? Just, Whoa! Can I just have <laughs> chips with nacho some nacho cheese? That's what coffee looks like when you forgot to put water in the back. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to put water in this right now. So now there's water in there, I forgot to, oh my god, and now, I can't believe this. <laughs> Alright, I think I have everything I need now. There's water, and it's on, and there's coffee, and the pot's down there. I put a little extra water in there to make up for, for getting it the first time. But I'm making some coffee right now, because I'm supposed to be working out in like an hour and a half. And uh, I'm gonna try using coffee for my pre-workout. And last time I made it, it was just way too hot to drink. So I'm just gonna make it now and let it cool off for like almost two hours. And then I'm gonna go get swole uh, with Evan, Evan the champ today. I'm uh, just gonna edit some videos until then. And then we're gonna go to, I think the Y. And, but this is the important part. I'm gonna my bench PR today, a new one. One hour before the bench PR. All right, there we go. Let's bring it for the benching today. And now, I'm gonna drink some coffee and go to the gym. All right, so the thing I don't like about this pre-workout, it's my fault, I made it with way too much water. I've drank coffee like a few times, and every time I've drank it, I get so much energy. And I, it's obviously like all natural, because it's just coffee beans. It's not like when you buy pre-workouts, all the extra stuff in it, things like, um, like beta alanine, which is what makes you feel tingly, or the um, uh, the good shit. <laughs> I'll call it right now. One three dime meth. That, that's what I just say to think of it. The one three dime meth, which is um, it's kind of like the energy that's not from caffeine, but it's like when like people say like makes you feel euphoric. It like gives you the good feeling when you're about to work out. It's it's kind of like a drug. Well, caffeine is too, but this is just all natural, so I'm gonna try this today. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to um, quit lifting. So I'll, I'll see you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going home. What's your excuse? 
Of what? When you're spotting me, you're supposed to make sure that I get it. That's fine. You're, or, you're, or you're supposed to like just, just walk just, away. I just back it. That's off. That's out of me. No, no, good. I just got a little stupid baby 275, which even felt hard. So maybe today is not a good day. Some some days. Evan, is this a good day for you? This is a great day for you. Great day. Bad day for me. Wow. Sorry, everybody has their bad days. So <laughs> yeah, that's I true. Bad days, bad days. That's a great point. That power meal or whatever that I got from Wegmans that I got because of his sick name, never get that. Unless you like spicy food, but... I was eating that thing and I was literally, like, I had to get a paper towel to wipe away my tears. It was so hot. Last time I asked, asked Zach, like, um, how to deal with, like, failing a PR. Because he just went for a bench PR and failed it like I did today. I went for a 330. And um, I've had a little more time to think about it. But um, I think the reason that it, when you fail a PR, it feels, like, so devastating is because when you... When you're going for it, you're thinking about like everything that's getting, getting you pumped up, uh, all your motivation. You're telling yourself like, "I got this, I got this," and then when you don't get it, it's like you're failing, you're just failing yourself, because it's a hundred percent you and nobody else when you're lifting weights. But like, I, I was just thinking to myself though, I think you should not think about it as you're failing yourself, but um, just think about how there's there's a time for everything. So. There's a time for you to like crush your PR, no problem. And uh, there's other times where you're going to fail it and it's gonna suck. And there's, there's, there's just a time for everything. Like everything and it's opposite. So I didn't get my PR right now, but that means the time when I do get my PR is just going to be in the future. And it's gonna be awesome when I get it then. So you just have to accept sometimes that um, like not everything happens when you want it to, but there's going to be a time for everything. There used to be a street here. This is crazy. <laughs> I think it rained today, but I can't really tell. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's some waves. I'm picking up speed in here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my, yo, my, my car might sink here. Like really, I've, <laughs> look at this wave. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. I was really just driving fast on purpose, but I almost sank in there. Hey, what's good? First time using the camera. Gabe's too lazy, I had to run back and get the camera. We're about to go watch Trigger drop 42. He probably dropped 42, who knows? Gabe's by my me because my hair, I'm growing it long. These guys, nobody, they're not trying to wait for me. Damn, all right. Don't wait for me. It's all good. All right, yeah, I'll meet you there. What the hell are these guys doing? Oh. What are you doing? Waiting for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> How many trick about to drop? Uh, easy 42. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I just got done telling him we were going to watch him drop 42. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> I'm when I say I'm all about. Trigger, let's get a bucket. Right there. Pull. Oh, he thought the bag was making it. Yep. Yeah. Buckets. <laughs> Move it. Buckets. I don't, I don't know if Eli can be in it. That's all hey. you, That's all you. That's all you, man. <laughs> what do you guys want? You guys want some money? You know, still playing fast at 63. The new crib, let's get it. You can't do the bridge? I can't do that shit. <laughs> he said, ready, get this. What do you do? He shuffled. Go your way or Jake? My way. He's not David Lave.